Hi everybody, my name is Ollie and I'm an acrobatic gymnast. Today I'm going to share a home conditioning routine with you. I'd love it if you could join in. Just please make sure the area around you is clear and safe and don't try any of the exercises that aren't suitable for you. Let's give it a go. Okay, first things first, we're going to do a warm up. So we're going to start off by just jogging on the spot and then I'm going to call out some different exercises as we go. All you've got to do is listen out, keep an eye on me and change when I do. So let's get started with jogging on the spot. Okay, we're going to lift our knees up high this time. And then now we're going to kick heels up the back. Okay, let's do stretch jumps on the by eight years. Now, star jumps. Back to jogging on the spot. And high knees again. And heel flicks. And stretch jumps. And star jumps. Back to jogging on the spot. And high knees again. And heel flicks. Okay, stretch jumps one more time. And star jumps one more time. Okay, well done everyone. Hopefully everyone's nice and warm and let's get on with some activity now. Today we're going to be looking at specific conditioning exercises for dynamic elements. Now for dynamic elements, one of the most important things is leg power. As a top, the higher you can jump, the more time you've got in the air to complete your skills. That's particularly more important when it comes to multiple somersaults. And as a base, the higher you can push your top, again, the more time you're giving them in the air to complete their skills. So today, we're going to be looking specifically at some leg conditioning, but also we're going to look at some core conditioning as well. Okay, first exercise we're going to do is air squat. So we're going to start off easy and then we're going to build these exercises up as we go. So for the air squat, what we're going to do is put hands on the back of your head, feet shoulder width apart, and then you're going to squat down to parallel before returning back up to the top. Now the way I want you to do these is go down relatively slow, but then push back up fast. So we're using explosive leg power to stand back up. Now, the reason we put the hands on the back of the head is to open up the shoulders and make sure the chest is up as we squat down. So we're going to do 10 reps of these. Remember, slowly on the way down and then a little bit faster on the way up. Okay, let's get started. Off we go. Well done everybody. The next exercise we're going to do is a bend and jump. So we're going to do these slightly differently depending on whether you are a base, a pair top or a group top. As a base you're just going to bend down, touch the floor and then jump up as high as you can. As a top you're going to do it as though you are standing on your shoulders of your base and then as a group top you're going to do it as though you're standing on platform. Okay so I'm going to demonstrate all three just in case anybody doesn't know and then we'll get on with the exercise. So as a base, all you're gonna do is start onto by ears, bend down, fingertips on the floor, and then explosive jump back up to the top. If you are a pair top, you're gonna to start with the arms by the ears, and do your bend as though you were on shoulders, and then explosive jump back up to the top. And if you are a group top, you're gonna to do it as though you're standing on platform, feet together, arms up, then hands to the knees, then explosive jump back up to the top. So same as we did with the air squats, we're gonna do these one at a time. We're gonna do 10 reps, slowly on the way down and then explosive power on the way back up. Okay, ready? Let's go.
Well done, everybody. The next exercise we're going to do is exactly the same as the one that we've just done, except this time we're going to do a tuck jump at the top instead of a stretch jump. So you've got to push even harder out the floor so that we've got nice and high to tuck before coming back down for landing. So we're going to do it exactly the same as we just did there. If you are a base, you're going to do it just fingertips to the floor and then jump. If you are a pair top, you're going to do it as though you're standing on shoulders, arms coming down and then explosive jump up. And if you are a group top, you're going to do it as though you're standing on platform with the feet together, down, then jump up and tuck. So same again, we're going to do 10 reps of these. As I'm a base, I'm going to do it my way, but you do it the way that's most relevant to you. Okay, let's go. Okay, the last leg exercise we're going to do is jumping lunges. So for jumping lunges, what we're going to do is put the hands on the back of the head. And the reason we're putting the hands on the back of the head is that we're using purely just our legs for this exercise. And what we're going to do is slowly lower one knee down to the floor, then power jump up as high as you can and slowly lower down on the opposite leg. So we're going to do five on each side, slowly lowering down and then explosive jump up as high as you can on the way back up. Are we ready? Start on whichever leg you'd like, let's go. Well done, everybody. The next exercise we're going to do is tucked V-sits. So for tucked V-sits, what we have to do is start lying flat on your back, pull into a tight tuck in the middle, and then lie back down again. For this exercise, we're going to do 12 reps. Let's go. Well done everybody. The next exercise we're going to do is a pike to V-sit. So for the pike to V-sit, very similar to the tuck V-sits that we've just done, except this time when we sit up, our legs stay straight and we've got to reach up and touch our toes in the middle. So again, for this one, we're going to do 12 reps. Let's go. Well done, everybody. Okay, now we're going to do a quick cool down and stretch up the muscles that we've been using. So first off, I want you to reach up to the sky, and then we're just going to slowly lower down towards the floor, keeping the legs nice and straight. As low as you can go, relax and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand back up. We're going to take the legs out to straddle. Same again, arms up, and then slowly relaxing and lowering down towards the floor, and holding five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this time we're going to kneel down with your left leg in front, and we're going to push this part of the leg down towards the floor, and hold five, four, three, two, one, this time straighten the leg, flex the foot up to the ceiling and bring the nose down to the knee and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, change legs, put the other leg in front now and same again, we're going to push forwards and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And again, straighten the leg, flex the foot and go down, relax, hold. Five, four, Three, two, one. Finally, we're just going to lie down on your stomach, hands down by your sides, push up, take the head back and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring the knees together 
and relax. I really hope you enjoyed our acrobatics home workout. Don't forget to share your own home videos with us using the hashtag gymnastsathome. Thanks for watching. Bye.